in the last video uh, we have seen the basic uh, definition of z transform that is a z transform of a function say u n is nothing but summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z bar minus n this is a basic definition and we have derived these set of standard formulas also z transform of 1 is z by z minus 1 z transform of n is z by z minus 1 the whole square and n square you remember if it's n square in the denominator cube will be there so z transform of n square is z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube z transform of n cube is z cube plus 4 z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole power 4 and we have derived z transform of k power n from this only we got z transform of 1 so these two are not different formulas it's the same so z transform of k power n is z by z minus k z transform of k power n into n is k z by z minus k the whole square and z transform of k power n into n square is k z square plus k square z by z minus k the whole cube and z transform of k power n n cube is k z cube plus 4 k square z square plus k square z by z minus k the whole power 4 if you see this is z transform of n square this is z transform of k power n n square so we got those things by using damping rule right we saw damping rule so these are the things that we have derived so far and now we have shifting rule okay so what do you mean by that we have a right shifting rule as well as left shifting rule first we will see right shifting rule if z transform of u n is u bar of z that is if this is the notation i know z transform of u n then z transform of u n minus k is z bar minus k into u bar of z where k greater than 0 so if i know z transform of u n i can guess z transform of u n minus k okay so i'm just shifting it if i know this i can slightly shift the value then i can guess this one so this is what we are going to prove and we'll start from here z transform of u n minus k what is the basic formula summation n is equal to 0 to infinity in the place of u n i have u n minus k so i have written that u n minus k z power minus n since this is a summation and we know u n is 0 for n less than 0 okay so when n will become 0 till k minus 1 because if n becomes k minus 1 what we will get k minus 1 minus k so k and k will get cancelled u suffix minus 1 negative value will come so from 0 to k minus 1 this u n value for n less than 0 we want right this n will become negative so we are going to omit the values from 0 to k minus 1 because as per definition u n is 0 for n less than 0 so this suffix is becoming a negative number so 0 to k minus 1 u n value is becoming 0 so i am going to sum it from k to infinity so summation n is equal to k to infinity u n minus k z bar minus n so the summation only changes from 0 to infinity to k to infinity okay so from k to infinity you will get uh, n greater than 0 so you will get some value and now we are going to expand the summation substitute n is equal to k here so k minus k that is u suffix 0 z power minus k plus k plus 1 if i substitute k plus 1 what i will get k plus 1 minus k so k and k will get cancelled only one will be there u suffix 1 z power minus of just replace n by k plus 1 same way replace n by k plus 2 if i substitute k plus 2 what i will get k plus 2 minus k k and k will get cancelled i will get u2 so this is the summation we are getting that is u naught z power minus k plus u1 z power minus of k plus 1 u2 z power minus of k plus 2 and so on because the k values are k k plus 1 k plus 2 next one will be k plus 3 okay so now i am going to take z power minus k common from all the terms if i take z power minus k common from the first term i will get only u naught here 
if this negative goes inside z power minus k z power minus 1 two terms will come so i am taking z power minus k so left over z power minus 1 i am writing here z power here this third term z power minus k z power minus 2 two terms will come z power minus k if i take it outside z power minus 2 is there inside okay so this is nothing but our basic definition formula summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z power minus n substitute the value first one put n is equal to 0 u naught z power 0 anything power 0 is 1 we got u naught put n is equal to 1 u 1 z power minus 1 you got this so what we have within this bracket is nothing but our z transform basic formula so z power minus k into this is the basic formula so i am writing this as u bar of z because in the question or in the definition i have told z transform of u n i am mentioning it by u bar of z so this is nothing but z transform of u n i am writing this as u bar of z hence we have proved that z transform of u n minus k is equal to z power minus k into u bar of z similarly if i know z transform of u n i can guess or find z transform of u n plus k that is left shifting rule right shifting rule is if i know u n z transform of u n i can find z transform of u n minus k this is right shifting rule left shifting rule is if i know z transform of u n i can find z transform of u n plus k and this is the left shifting rule that is if z transform of u n is known then z transform of u n plus k is z power k into u bar of z minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 1 minus u2 z power minus 2 etc up to u k minus 1 z power minus of k minus 1 we'll be using these properties in problems and uh, sometimes the proof was there in the old uh, syllabus and now proof is not there for uh, mm, certain uh, rule so that we'll see later so i'll explain what is the procedure z transform of u n plus k what is the basic formula z transform of u n plus k is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity u n plus k z power minus n okay so and this is nothing but same uh, or they have written right this instead of writing as a big thing they have written the sum negative sign outside and they have written summation that's it so both are same actually it is easy to memorize this because in problems um, I'll tell you how many if k terms are there this will end up to k minus 1 term so it's easy very few problems uh, sorry very few terms will come in the problem so we have written the basic definition so in the place of un I have un plus k so I have written that and uh, this is nothing but z power k into summation n is equal to 0 to infinity un plus k z power minus of n plus k what we are doing is we are multiplying z power plus k and divided by z power k it's like if i multiply and divide by same thing the one which is there in the denominator will come to the numerator or i can say z power 0 so what is the value of z power 0 1 okay so this is nothing but 1 so i'm writing it as z power k minus k so z power k into z power minus k this z power k i have written outside this i have taken along with minus n that's it so one uh, z power k is there outside and z power minus k is inside that's it and now the z power k i'm keeping this as it is why i'm multiplying and uh, dividing it by z power k because in the proof i have z power k outside so to bring it into this seen so i have multiplied and divided that's it the z power k i'll keep as it is now we are going to expand the terms over here put n is equal to 0 if you put n is equal to 0 we will get u suffix k z power minus k plus u suffix k minus 1 z power minus of k plus 1 next term put n is equal to 1 so we got this if i put n is equal to 2 what i'll get u n plus 2 z power minus of n plus 2 same thing um, so if i put n is equal to 2 i'll get 2 plus k so this is k plus 2 and now what we are going to do is we are going to add and subtract the leftover terms 
because for any z transform formula i want summation 0 to infinity here my summation starts from u suffix k so what are the terms missing till k minus 1 it is missing so i am adding here u naught plus u1 z power minus 1 plus u2 z power minus 2 plus u k minus 1 z power minus of k minus 1 these are the terms that i have added now i am subtracting the same terms so it is like i have this this term is there already a it's like plus b minus b answer is going to be the same a i can write it as a is equal to a plus b minus b so i am adding from u naught to uk minus 1 in the beginning and i am subtracting u naught to uk minus 1 at the end okay why i am doing it so why i am adding and subtracting because yeah now you can see I am adding these terms and subtracting these terms because my summation starts from u k and my general formula for uh, z transform will starts from u naught. So I am whatever it is missing, I am adding and subtracting it at the end. So now what these terms, whatever it is, till here at the end, you can write it as summation n is equal to zero to infinity u n z power minus n. This is nothing but your z transform formula, which is nothing but u bar of z z power k is there outside this is nothing but u bar of z minus all these terms are within the bracket if i take the minus sign inside it will become negative that's it so uh, if i know z transform of u n i can find z transform of u n plus k and u n minus k without calculating from the beginning okay that is the advantage of it so if i know z transform of u n that is z transform of say uh, n then I can guess z transform of n plus 1 and z transform of n minus 1. Why I have to calculate from the beginning? So, these are the particular cases. I told you, right? It's very easy to remember. So, z transform of u n plus 1. z power k in the formula, right? Whatever term is there, you write it in that power. z power 1. And since z power 1 means I will start subtracting with u naught u bar of z minus u naught look at the second one u n plus 2 the place of k i have 2 what is there in the suffix you see here 2 is there in the suffix so i'll write z power 2 u bar of z first term since i have written z power 2 i'll subtract two terms minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 1 first two terms i'm subtracting minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 1 now you can guess n plus 3 the place of k I have 3, I will write z power 3, u bar of z, how many terms I have to subtract? 3 terms. So, u naught minus u naught minus u1 z power minus 1 minus u2 z power minus 2. Now, you can guess what is z transform of u n plus 3, sorry n plus 4, u n plus 4 is z power 4, u bar of z minus, we subtract 4 terms, what are the 4 terms? This is first one, this is second one, this is third one, fourth one will be minus u3 z power minus 3, that is it. So, depending on the problem, you will subtract those many terms. So, we have learnt left shifting as well as right shifting rule. So, now we will go for some warm up problems and in the next video, we will go for the again a repeated important question. All are very easy problems in z transform. For example, if they ask you to find z transform of e power minus a n. Okay. So, now you have to relate it to your formulas. Formula should be very much thorough so that you can connect to which formula it belongs to. So, e power minus a power n. I can write like this. So, this is of the form z transform of k power n. k power n, what is the formula? z by z minus k. The place of k I have e power minus a. So, z by z minus e power minus a. That's it. So, if they ask z transform of e power a n, this is e power a the whole power n. So, this is also of the form z transform of k power n. Formula is same z by z minus k, but in the place of k I have e power a. So, I have written z by z minus e power a. So, for example, if they have asked to find z transform of e power minus a n into n. Okay. So, uh, we know what is z transform of this n we know by using the formula so this is of the form z transform of k power n into n so in the place of uh, 
k this is e power minus a the whole power n right k power n into n so in the place of k we have e power minus a now we can solve it now what is the formula for z transform of n yeah z transform of n is z by z minus 1 the whole square we have even derived it now you have to memorize it as i told you n power 1 so denominator only z power 1 but in the uh, sorry in the numerator we have only z power 1 denominator z minus 1 the whole square okay for n square denominator cube will be there so this is a uh, general formula for z transform of n now what is the formula for z transform of k power n into n this is the same but wherever z is there i'll replace z by z by k right which rule it it is damping rule okay so if i know z transform of n i can guess z transform of k power n into n how we can guess write z transform of n wherever z is there replace z by z by k that's it so this is the formula and i have written like this z goes to z by k it means i'm going to wherever z is there i'm going to change it to z by k so in the place of z i have replaced z by k by z by k minus 1 the whole square so now you can take lcm if you take lcm what you will get z minus k the whole square the denominator k will be there that will come to the numerator because denominator here inside k will be there but if it comes to numerator it will become k square z minus k by k the whole square so k square if it comes to the numerator 1k and 1k will get cancel and we'll get kz okay so z transform of k power n is kz by z minus k the whole square similarly if i know z transform of n square i can guess z transform of k power n into n square in this problem whatever we have got uh, the k value is e power minus a right so we are replacing k by e power minus a in the final answer so similarly we can find z transform of k power n n square see this problem it's like they have asked to find z transform of e power minus a n into n square okay so if i know z transform of n square i can guess e power minus a n n square z transform so what is the formula for n square z square plus z by z minus 1 the whole cube so k power n n square formula is what exactly same wherever z is there i am changing it to z by k that's it same damping rule so z by k the whole square plus z by k by z by k minus 1 the whole cube i am repeating if i know z transform of n square i can guess z transform of k power n n square just by replacing z by z by k this is what we have learned in the previous class damping rule now you have to simplify and take the lcm so once you have simplified you will get this okay k z square plus k square z by z minus k the whole cube here in this problem they asked you to find z transform of e power minus a n n square so in the place of e power minus a the whole power n in the place of k i have e power minus a so we are replacing this k by e power minus a if your problem is z transform of e power plus a n into n square so it is k power n into n square format only in the place of k you have e power plus a so you will replace everywhere e power plus a here that's it so uh, everything is based on the formula you have to connect to the right formula to get the answer all the problems will be very small so far we have learned uh, problems in fourier series and transforms right those problems are little lengthy z transform is easy so you can finish the problems faster in z transform provided if you are thorough with the formulas so write down all the formulas like a tabular column and keep on seeing the formulas every day so that it's easy for you to recollect it during the exam thank you